Hey guys, this is Arnablus98, and here is my instruction video for my new Optimus Prime from Dark of the Moon, Revenge of the Fallen, First Trilogy, then version 4. And yeah, I really apologize for the wait, but um, this video is technically a 3 in 1 because I have 3 different files, and you could build everything you see here, which, uh, which I have shown off in Prime's uh, uh, videos, and 3 videos, I'd say. And yeah, the first file is just Optimus himself and all the weapons in his original video. And Optimus is updated, as you saw. And the second file is just for his extra weapons from Dark of the Moon. And the third file is for his trailer in the back. Because I did, I wanted to share that because I it was built on stud.io. All I needed to do was change a few pieces that I updated, and that's about it. And in case you you don't know how this works, um, my new instruction videos well, for my larger transformers, they use uh, stud.io files, which run on the program stud.io, which is like a digital lego building program that works with bricklink so you need to download the program before you can open the files and from there you can buy the pieces you need online from bricklink or you can use them from your own parts collection and there's no there's no instruction format on the file so um, you might have to reverse engineer everything once you gather all the parts and you can see the parts list on the page before page where the files are before you download it and yeah, if you, any, if you have any questions about that, you can just uh, comment below. Very happy to share Prime's design here since he is my favorite transformer I've made to date. And if you're thinking about making my version 2 because I have instruction videos for that guy, I suggest you not because this guy is so much better in every way. And yeah, that is it. Um, I think this is my last instruction video I'll be doing for a while. And this is the last instruction video I'll be doing for all the transformers I've currently built. And as for any future Transformers, I'll just state if he, they're getting instruction videos or not. And yeah, technically this video is just an instruction tutorial for my Prime, but that's because on Stud.io, all the weapons and his trailer are like pretty much pre-built. For the trailer, you just need to snap the hinges together, and honestly, it's really easy to transform. The hardest part of the trailer is just building it, because it's kind of tedious, but that's about it. And once again, um, well, for Optimus himself, if you once you've gathered all the parts and built them on stud.io, you can just come back here for the assembly and the reverse transformation. And so you sh this is pretty much what we have on stud.io, all the parts laid out. And of course, you need to put the tires in. I don't know why they don't connect on stud.io, but let's get started. First of all, for the legs, just gotta okay. Oops. Just gotta collapse this section down and tab it into place because we're gonna start with this robot first. And then you come to the foot and just push it in and then take the thigh and push it in. So you simple on the ball joints and you have the two legs. And now for the body, um, well actually on the file you should have the whole torso collapse like this. Like that. And then coming over to this part into the back section with the smokestacks. You can see this whole line of studs here and the bottom of this it's like the whole plate should tab right into place. It's nice and centered. And like that. And this is a new thing I didn't show off with the new little pieces here. You gotta angle the shoulder pieces backwards and then you gotta tab them into place here, these new pistons. And then you gotta just push them. These will keep the arms in place if you saw my update video. And then the arms, they just go right into the ball joints here. That. And then like this. And now coming up to here, you see the two little clips, and you see the chest pieces. The uh, bars here will go right into the clips here, halfway through. Like that. And you gotta make sure this part is kinda angled inward a bit. And then you have to bend it, uh, moving this forward. And moving the head, you gotta bend it forward like that. And now for this section, same thing. Yeah, there you go. Like this. And then you gotta move that backwards, actually. And then you gotta position everything. And that is the upper body. And then you gotta bring these sections in. Down like that. And then before we connect the legs, we have the backpack here. You can see how much of the truck this actually makes up. But... Yeah, you just gotta take these sections, rotate them inwards. And then you gotta bend this section in, bend this section up. And then you gotta rotate this, and then 
move it sideways and shift it in, in, and then you can bend it upwards. And this section will collapse like that. And here, same for this side. Like so. And there is the backpack. And now for the upper body, you just need to plug the legs into place. And the hips right here. And then coming to the back, you see the little droid arms hanging here. They should go right into here. And you just clip that into place. Like this. And then you gotta tap it into place here. So you're getting your fingernail into there. And then you tap it into place, and there you go. And there's Primal Assembled. And the file actually includes two of his battle blades, two of his battle hooks, two of his cannons, another the alternate chest piece, and then his brass knuckles. And the rest of the weapons can be found on his other file, and of course you have the trailer too. Alright, let's turn back into a truck. Um, it's actually honestly not that bad. It's just a lot of like little steps, like, but it's it shouldn't be too bad. I just need to transform it in little sections, like the backpack, upper body, and lower body. Those are pretty much the three sections. And I just like to start with the arms to get things out of the way. You just want to bend it as far back as it can go in this elbow joint. And you just rotate this panel inwards. And it should just pop right into there. And then you take the fists and fold it in. And now this uh, first elbow joint here folds up. And this it's technically yeah this is like the main elbow joint but you just fold this up like that and then you straighten this out so the hand points downwards and next you just take the gas tank you rotate this around and then at this joint here you shift it up and then you fold it in the bottom of this clip should kind of actually fit around the edge of the tile and then you just fold them out like that and then same for this side Rotate this around, just fold this back in, fold the hands in, undo all these hinges, like that, and rotate this, and then you fold, shift this around, rotate this around, and you fold this, like that. like this and then you fold this out for now like he's doing a t-pose but um and now for the backpack we just want to detach it i'm just it just folds down because of that single connection in there this tabs into the middle stud on this one times four plate and i'm just going to leave it alone for now actually i'm going to fold this panel up along with rotating the gas tank so it lines up just so it can make it a little bit cleaner this and that and I'm just gonna fold these straight up like this and then the little uh, back filler just fold up for now I'm just gonna rotate this up and then the legs you just want to yank it here like that just take the one times two plate here because it tabs right into here these two little uh, plates here and you just flop this down for now and now we're going to just deal with the upper body. Okay, first you got to untab this little section around. This is a little new bit I showed in my little update video. You pull these two sections down. And then you come to the backpack. You want to make sure this goes all the way down just for now. And you fold these side panels down as far as they can go. And now we're gonna coming up to the chest here. You fold the head back. You want to shift this these little sections out as far as possible. And then you're gonna take the little fake chest bits and rotate them inwards. 
and shift them as far inwards as they can go on the little um, brick and then you just gotta fold this up and they'll just sit like that and same with this one you just rotate this around shift it inwards and then fold this up <clears throat> and then you move the head through the uh, windows here take this section fold it up for now and then you take the smokestacks you fold these outwards then you want to rotate these around to get them into position for vehicle mode it's a little tricky to figure out all the little steps so it's pretty easy once you got it all and you fold these sections up and before you do that you gotta shift these back inwards as far in as they can go and they will clear the smokestacks here and they rotate up and you fold this in and you rotate this up and I can even fold it up for now actually and now for the arms you gotta rotate this around 180 so the boat stud faces the same side as this tile here you gotta rotate this inwards and then you rotate this in like that and same for this side you rotate this around and you fold this in this little area where the tile, where it's like a blank stud, should kind of like match up directly with this brick here. You fold this inwards to wiggle this, and then you gotta rotate this in. And there's no like exact way. The geometry isn't that perfect, but you should just kind of squeeze these two together. So this is a bunch of joints in here. They'll kind of line up. And then you can fold the, actually, actually you want to get the smokestacks into position, rotate these down. You gotta pull on the little arms a little bit, oh, sometimes not that far, but enough that it can clear. And then the windshield here will come down. You gotta get the little hinges that hold the fake chest, like, into that little gap next to the tiles. And then you take these side sections, these come like the side doors or whatever, and you just fold them in. And you fold them in. And that is the upper body pretty much. Actually, you gotta take the head here. And you gotta just, you gotta just stick it in there. He's gonna, it kinda looks like he's kinda peering through the windshield, but the head just, just jam it in there. And now these sections here, you shift these in. And you shift this in, you rotate this around, and you rotate this around, and they just kind of sit here. There's barely enough room, they clear this little stud here, which I got really lucky. And this section will just, um, for now, um, these, uh, this whole plate will actually fit in this little area here. It's another neat geometry trick I did. And that is the upper body for now. And now we come to the legs, they're pretty much, uh, a bit similar to my original versions, but you know, first of all, you gotta just fold these little panels out, and then you have to unfold everything. Okay, there's a hinge down here that is not really tabbed into anything, and then you gotta just uh, doesn't usually do that, but yeah, it just unfold like that. This corner uh, right here will go right into here, and if you did it right, it would have came off pretty easily, but I don't know what happened. Then you take this side uh, toolbox, rotate that, and then fold it uh, down, and then stretch that out, and then you fold the knee ca uh, kneecap down. And then this section, coming in over here, just rotate that. Um, you rotate this, you have to shift it out, rotate that in. Um, if you had this uh, ankle joint lined up properly, this part should just slide in easily like that. And that is one leg. And on the other side, you just untab all this. And untab. Like that. And then you gotta rotate this around. And fold it down. Fold this up. Uh, fold this down. And then you shift this out, and then you sh uh, line this up, shift it back in. And then uh, these little sections on the side, you have to fold them so that it kind of like 
comes around there and it becomes parallel with the bottom of the truck. And then the same for this side right here. Just gonna pull it forward like that. And then you gotta rotate that section like that. And this section over here coming to the bottom of just uh, this side, you gotta rotate this section out or shift it out. And that's actually the tab that I go into this side. It's kind of weak, but it still like holds together like that. And there you go, there are the legs just kind of strain everything out. Oh, that came on tab, but I'll get that. And now we just put everything together. Um, it's a little tricky, but you gotta fold this section over. Okay, that came off, but it doesn't usually do that. You gotta fit it over so that the the trailer hitch actually ends up on the top of the truck. Just like this. And as you can see, you just need to fold this section down as far as you can, like, out as it can go. And then coming over here, this uh, chest plate, you fold that kind of in there, tuck it in there. Just kind of squeeze everything together. Um, it's not really. You'll start to line things up later, but you just gotta come to the back and make sure all this is kind of straightened out, like like the hips are lined up with like the, the waist, I guess. Just kind of keep these in place. These sections should fold in. They should fold um, under the grill here. And come to this side. Just straighten this all out, and that should go in as far as possible. And make sure all the wheels roll. And then now we get to the. Um, the rest of the truck. You fold this down and then you rotate this around. Okay. Then you gotta rotate this, shift it down, and then straighten all this and kind of angle that out. Just fold it down a little bit. And the section, you rotate this down, straighten this out, open up a little bit, and then you gotta shift this around like that. We just gotta, and then now we just gotta bring both these sections down. So you just gotta make sure these two are together like that. Yep. And you can see um, these two panels will have to be angled like that to clear the bottom of the truck. Just make sure it's all together. And then you gotta fold this down. And then you gotta have this section into the gas tanks right here. If everything's right, they should work just like that pretty easily. And then you gotta fold the fenders over here. It doesn't really hold in place because they just kind of drape over there. And same for this side. Come here. You gotta make sure these ball joints up here are in the right spot, lined up. Then you gotta put this into here and fold it and fold this fender down like that and you are pretty much done the last thing you need to do is um yeah the fenders back here they won't uh, perfectly like go up against these little struts last thing is to fold this section down just for filler kind of angle it down and just, it's just gonna sit there the black flag flag is just gonna fill that part in and is that it? That's it. Here's Priming as a Peterbilt truck mode. Uh, transformation is not that bad. There's a lot of things that you can easily line up and like... Yeah, it just takes a long time. Yeah, there you go. And then you gotta make sure all the six wheels roll. Alright, that is the end for Prime's tutorial. I hope you found everything easy to follow. And once again, do you have any questions about the trailer or his extra weapons? Um, please comment below or you can DM me on Instagram because I'm active there. Because I didn't have like a... This video is more like about Prime's like kind of tutorial since uh, the trailer and the weapons I find easy to put together so yeah and yeah this whole like set makes a nice display piece but Prime's just amazing on his own uh, the only unfortunate part is that if you have all these together um, you have around 1600 pieces and that might cost a little bit but yeah but I hope you enjoyed this video um, this is my last instruction video for now until I make a new transformer but yeah and this is my the next video I have planned is a behind the scenes video for Devastator so look out for that and I'll see you guys then